Gotta try Don Winery's dandelion wine. You're here. Wait, you're... Well, first of all, I contacted more than one person. Secondly, she came here as Jean herself, not as the acting Grandmaster. A Jean you would never see, even as an honorary knight. What a surprise. I heard about the Holy Liar, but I never suspected it was you. So, the sound of the Holy Liar can purify Storm Terror and return it to normal? Is that true? That's right! Your honorary knight is putting themselves on the front line to try and resolve this Storm Terror issue. Now that's the hot shot of the Knights of Favonius I'm talking about. Feels like we're breaking the law, though. I understand this kind of absurd explanation is hard to believe. But we can ask the Bard to play the song again to try and persuade... I believe you. To persuade our stubborn command... Wait, what? I can't think of any reason for Devalin's betrayal, given it was once one of the Four Winds. However... If it was poisoned in the battle over Mondstadt all those years ago, and then corrupted by the Abyss Mage after it woke up, we can't really blame it. But as Acting Grandmaster, I obviously cannot make such a statement publicly. Diplomatic pressure from the Fatui makes it hard for us to seek a peaceful resolution to the Storm Terror issue. People would think I've lost grip on the gravity of the situation. That's why I can only do this in private. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I don't like the Knights of Favonius. What surprises me is that you would believe an Outlander so easily. My cautious and meticulous superior, even you trust him, don't you, sir? <sighs> I already told you not to call me sir. Never mind. Uh... <clears throat> wow, um, this is really awkward. I have a rough idea of where the Holy Liar de Hamel is. Nice recovery. She's really talented at changing the subject. The conflict between Mondstadt and Shneznaya stems from the conflict between the Seven Nations and their respective gods. The Cryo Gods Fatui seem to be after the Animo God's power. Uh... Right. If the Knights of Favonius publicly prevented an attempt on Duvalin's head, then... The only other way to affect the Animo God's power is to take the Holy Liar. The number of Fatui that have come to Mondstadt is far from limited. I've already managed to coerce a few reports out of them. Diluc has determined that the Holy Liar is not being held in the Goth Grand Hotel. I imagine they don't want to leave something stolen in a place where it could be so easily found. Paimon gets it! If too much of a scene gets made, then it becomes a big diplomatic issue. <laughs> Such is the diplomacy between the Seven Nations. Outlander, ready to go? Jean just said the Fatui are trying to take Devalin's power for the Cryo God. I fear this might fall... I think they intend to use Barbados's connection to the wind to draw him out. Just like Lisa traced the source of the storm to the temples. The god of animal? Oh, 
Uh, uh, huh? Forget it. I don't like having to pry. Here, take this. What is it? A disguise to protect your identity. Put it on before you run into the Fatui. Unfortunately, they're still one of Mondstadt's allies. At least that's the facade we're maintaining. Our actions are going to get them stirred up. Defenses have been broken. I thought it was the Abyss Order attacking. How did you guys know the liars here? The place is being kept is locked up tight. If you're after the key, keep going further into the ruins, but do come after me. I don't know which one of the guards has it, but I'm sure you can find the guards and find out for yourselves. This guy looks like he's about to wet himself. You just worry about yourselves. One of the Eleven is already in Mondstadt. Signora, when she gets her hands on you, she's gonna string you up and torture you. When that time comes, don't you dare say a word about me. Did he say Signora? What a strange name. Number eight of the Eleven goes by the name Signora. The fact that the Fatui can run them up across the Seven Nations like they do is entirely because of the Eleven. We need to act quickly before she gets wind of what's going on. How'd you get in here? Never heard of that association before. What are you lot doing here? 
What? How did you little brats creep in here? You take me for a fool? You're here for the liar, aren't you? And just how do you plan to borrow it? <laughs> Think you can look down your nose at me, huh? The will of Shneznaya is as solid as the permafrost. I will not yield. Here to play with me? There you are, eavesdropper. <laughs> the more, the merrier. <laughs> Blink! What are you doing here? Uh, you're just going to attack me? Uh, I am a proud citizen of Snezhnaya. I will not falter.
you rats scurry out from? Senora's not going to tolerate this kind of interference in our affairs. So I'll be the one to take care of you. Save her the trouble of having to deal with you herself. Senora is going to end you. The songs Bard sing of your demise will be so terrifying. The people of Mondstadt will never sleep again for the nightmares they give them. Big talk for a guy who still ran off in the end. Chicken. to retrieve it. The pattern of flowing wind carved on the rosewood, and the strings still feel cool to the touch, too. Ugh, oh, the memories. What do you think, Venti? Can you summon Devalin? Mm, although this liar is the real thing, I doubt that it's going to work. As you can see, the liar has been through a thousand years of history. Its animal power has run dry. In this condition, you couldn't play music fit for even Diluc's tavern with it. Bards fight to get on this stage of my tavern. Don't make assumptions. Is that really important right now, Master Diluc? And you! Did you just borrow the Holy Liar to play music for drunkards to hear? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> anyway, we won't be able to call Devalin with it. The Liar itself is fine, but the strings... You're up, Outlander. Relax, it's not broken. It's just that the intensity of its animal power has greatly diminished. Do you still have Devalin's teardrop crystal with you? Great! Try to use it on the... Thank you. 
this youthful glow. Praising yourself? Really? I was talking about the Holy Liar. Thanks to our traveler friend having purified the crystal, the Holy Liar won't continue to lose power. That said, its power is far from replenished. It'd be great if we could get more tears. I can surmise that Devalin will already be crying. Suffering alone in some deserted place. <sighs> Devalin. Poor baby. This is not something that an honorary knight can accomplish alone. I will mobilize the rest of the knights to assist. When you get the teardrop crystal, please let our honorary knight perform the purification process. Heroes supporting each other and setting out on a journey together. How exciting! Let me come up with a song for you. Is that all you're going to do? Just sing? Hmm, wouldn't be much of a bard if I didn't, now would I? <laughs> you're so cheeky. You deserve an ugly nickname. Oh, Paimon knows. From now on, you'll be known as Tone Deaf Bard. This search reminds me of a feud I once had with the Fatui. Six months ago, a thief stole... Ch What was it? A cup used by Barbados? No. Although, if such a thing... Ex Among all the relics they managed to dig up, it was a vial which contained the animal god's breath. Relics come in every shape and form, huh? Anyone with an eye for fine art would like to add this relic to their collection. Once word got out, the Fatui started trying to seek it out as well. They've made tons of counterfeits that can be found everywhere. In response, I just bought everyone I could find, irrespective of its authenticity. We're still at it now. I've bought more than 2,000 fakes to date, and the Fatui are yet to find the real one. Whoa, you guys are insane. So it means the real one must be out there somewhere on the black market, right? Hmm. Paimon will give you a discount on them if she finds any, because Paimon's just great like that. Sure, you can try to find the real one. I'll take what you find, even if they're fake. Once you're done, find me at the winery. I'll trade you a beer for every 20 you find.
dodge this! What's the hurry?
We are taught to hone our investigative skills. Wow! Very impressive. In my experience, the secret to finding what you are looking for is to never look for it in the first place. Don't think too much about it and don't search too hard. And before you know it, what you're looking for will appear right before your very eyes. What? about it too much. The more flustered you become, the less likely you are to find it. Pay attention to what you see in your peripheral vision and you might just stumble upon what you're looking for. I don't know. It doesn't sound like that would work. No, seriously, it does though. In fact, it's how I used to find my tortoise whenever he went missing. Wait! You had a pet tortoise? Yes, why? Something wrong, Paimon? No, it's, uh, well, just surprising is all. Why? Paimon can't imagine Jean having a pet tortoise. Surely you find it hard to imagine too, Master Diluc. No, I don't. I had one too when I was a kid. What's so strange about it? What? You too? <laughs> 